Hello, and good evening. Welcome to Stutter Pot TV. I'm your host, NJW, and today's reaction video is about the difference between whites and blacks being treated by the law enforcement. Time about Second Amendment rights, and Jake, you don't understand. We need our guns. We need the good guys with uh, guns to protect us from the bad guys from guns and protect us from the government. Now, uh, last night when Philando Castile had a licensed weapon, and he was pulled over for a busted taillight. And he told the officer, just like he's supposed to, a good card carrying gun owner. That's the young black man that got killed in front of his wife and kids because his gun was in the glove compartment. And he told the officer before the officer shot him. He said, officer, I have a licensed weapon here. Okay, great. Uh, officer, of course, flipped out because he's black. And uh, said, no, 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 okay, now. He said, go, now, show me your ID. And he goes, show him his ID, and the cop shoots. Wait a minute, I, where's the NRA? They should be screaming from the rooftops today. Philando Castile should be their new, new hero. He should the, be their, the, uh, the NRA doesn't care about nobody but the How NRA. The jackbooted thugs of the government will shoot and kill people with perfectly legal right to carry arms. That, that he was exercising his Second Amendment rights. Instead, what have I heard from conservatives for the last 24 hours? Well, of course the cop shot him. He had a gun. Yeah, well, that's because they consider us a super predator. Remember? That was, that was the label they gave us to give cops the authority to shoot us at an alarming pace. And then I heard, oh, well, if white people have a gun in similar situations, well, of course they're going to be shot too. Really? Now, I remember a lot of people on the Clive and Bundy Ranch. That's the guy from the Las Vegas Bunny Ranch. I don't remember he made them get off his property. Now, they were so brazen, so Look how they so resistant. Threatening uh, assault and murder of police officers and pointing guns at police officers. Eventually, in Oregon, one of the guys associated with the gun, Bundy guys came out, was giving an enormous amount of time walking around with a gun in his uh, pocket, or a gun that he had threatened to murder cops with before and finally was shot. One. The One rest, person all heavily out of a hundred. Taken into custody, no problems, nobody shot. That guy was given all the time in the world. The Clive and Bundy people were given years. Tamir Rice was given two seconds. And he was a 12-year-old boy. And he didn't have a gun. He had a toy gun. But they now the 12-year-old boy happened. He had a gun on him, but it was a BB gun. And they pulled up and thought he was older than what he was and they shot him. But I even asking him to put the gun down, uh, pepper spray, anything of any sort. They just used deadly force on the twelve-year-old. They never bothered asking. So now we've seen over and over again. Alton Sterling, just a day ago. Uh, well, he might have had a gun. Did it? Was it in his hand? No. Were there three cops on top of him? Yes. Was one guy, uh, cop? That's the other black guy that had bootleg DVDs that he was selling on the corner. Someone called in the store and said they didn't want him on his property. He ended up getting shot because they thought he had a gun instead of DVDs. Pointing a gun right at his chest, yes. But it's a black guy who might have a gun. Boom, 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 boom. Put him down. Put him down. Two seconds clap. Another shooting in, in a Walmart in Ohio. That one, I think, took six seconds before he was killed. I think he was shot in three seconds and killed in six seconds. Now... I'm told, no, 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 white people, if they got their hand on a gun, <laughs> cops are going to put them down. Or, what if they're walking around with rifles? No, one thing I can say is white men are being killed by the police officers. They just not broadcast as much as it is when it's one of us as a black man. So they have their preference on what they put on the news, and we just happen to be their preference. So you can't say that they're not being shot or it's not equal, it's just not being shown as much. And the cops are in the vicinity. They're gonna put him down. Right away, two seconds, two seconds flat. Because there's no such thing as a difference between white and black people in America. Really? Well, let's take a look at this. Okay. Last you saw was right in front of the Dairy Queen. Uh, okay, right yeah, there with his gun, his pajamas, the pajamas the on. <laughs> this is an old video, I do remember this video. Hey, partner, how you doing? Can you set that down real quick and talk to me? 
This is not nicely they talking to him. Please. He flipping them off. Fuck y'all. <laughs> Now look at the difference. This black guy had his gun registered to him in the glove compartment, told the officer that it was there, and he was fired upon. This man is standing there with a gun in his hand. He, even though he's not in a threatening manner, he does have a gun in his hand, which they procedure should be way rougher than they is showing him right now. But it, it is what it is. Oh, he understand his What's rights. Name, What's that? Joe Smo? Joe Smo. <laughs> he just told him anything. Look, he's sitting down on the ass. Look, he ain't put his hand around his neck. He didn't. Look, he didn't even cuff him. Look at that. He came and grabbed his gun. He didn't cuff him. He didn't nothing before he grabbed his gun. Not other that he's not uh, scared of his own safety. He didn't even grab his gun to secure him. The first thing they do is ask you for your ID when they walk into a ghetto or a black, uh, predominant black neighborhood. It's actually, where's your ID? They didn't even ask him for his ID before they went for his gun. So you see the difference in the approach. It's the approach, first of all. He didn't kneel down by him. Oh, they have having a... I, didn't we just have lunch conversation? Look, he didn't sat back and put his feet up. This guy crosses his legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a care in the world. That took a long time. And look at that. They didn't have to put him down. Now, I'm not saying they should have shot that guy. I don't want them shooting that guy. I also don't want him shooting unarmed black men. I want the same stand. Now... I've seen all the video. I've shown you all the video of how they treat uh, black men in America. Even if they don't have a gun, or it's a toy gun, mm -hmm. or God forbid it's a real gun, even if they're not anywhere near it. Okay. So in that case, it's a white guy. Hey, partner, how you doing? Mm, yeah. Remember all the cases we showed you where cops come up to armed black guys and go, hey, partner, how you doing? <laughs> you're not going to see that. And then he goes on to say, no, I'm not trying to violate your rights. Now, if you're an African-American in this country, how many times have the cops walked up to you when you're armed and go, hey, I'm not trying to violate your rights? <laughs> yeah, no doubt. They're always telling you about your rights, right, and how they don't want to violate them. They're always so polite like that. And, oh, my God, Alton Sterling might be somewhere near a gun. Hey, uh, <laughs> uh, Philando Castile is a licensed uh, yeah. gun owner. He tells the officers he hasn't pulled it. He doesn't have it, right? Nah, but he's got to go. Yeah, he's a super predator. In seconds, this guy, I'm not trying to violate. Him. Hey, partner. Hey, partner. How you doing? And then they walk up to him as that rifle is right next to him. They didn't even pull their gun. No, they didn't. <laughs> no, it's a white guy. Yeah, he's no threat. Pull our guns. Yeah. Kill him. No way. No way. Hey, partner. <laughs> he keeps you saying, "Hey, partner." Black people are shot <laughs> in this country. And you're really gonna tell me, oh, white people are shot at the same rate that black people are? First of all, that's just not a fact. Is, well, it is uh, a fact. Unarmed, let alone armed, five times more likely to get shot if you're unarmed, if you're black, as opposed to white. Okay, I got many more videos with that team. Now, in this case, uh, the guy's eventually going to get shot. Let's see if it's within two seconds. And remember, for Laquan McDonald, I think they shot him 16 times in 13 seconds. And, and in the case of Castile last night, they shot him uh, reports of three, four, or five times. Let's call it four. Oh, well, hey, look, I can't take any risks with my life. So if I Dealing go with a shoot, black man. I've got to shoot to kill. Yeah. With Alton Sterling the night before, uh, they shoot him. It's boom, boom, boom. Then we wait a couple of seconds. We see it in the video. And then boom, 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 boom again. And, and at the end, he's got no gun in his hand. Because they can't take any chances. Unless it's a white guy, in which case they can take many oh, chances. Yeah, all the chances they want. Look at him. He done walked all the way back to his car. Shorts, walks with his hands up to his car. He gets in, then emerges with this. God. Well, he pointed in at him. Police officers immediately shout out a warning that he's armed. Then oh, they didn't shout out a warning for him. Now, I know a, a lady in Las Vegas where 
she had a knife in her hand across the street from Mario's market. And she all she had was a knife, and they killed her. They gunned her down. But he has a gun in his hand, aiming at them. And they haven't even fired a shot. One single shot. And take cover. Dave Street saw it as it happened. He got out of his car, and he's waving his gun around, pointing all around everywhere. He even pointed at the helicopter. Okay? So... Uh, he telling it all. Boom. He was shot from the rifle. The man went down, and for more than a half hour, police tried to convince him to move away from the gun. So they're not even they're rushing to him. After they had him down, because he still had the gun. Finally, he got up from a seated <laughs> position and walked to the shade of a nearby mm. tree. Police slowly moved in and took him into... Well, if y'all don't see the difference in response and the way they interact with us, it ain't a cow in Texas. Custody. Later telling reporters they'd been summoned to De Anza Cove by a caller who said the man had a weapon and wanted to kill himself. When it's a black teenager, two seconds. You're a white guy? Oh, no, mosey onto your car. Oh, great. great. Get your <laughs> he car. tripped. Oh, great. Pointed at my head. Fantastic. Walk around for a couple of minutes. Take your time, partner. Okay, wow. I mean, you are walking right towards me, pointing the gun at me. Yeah. Okay, but that's a I bit much. Sixteen times. No. I'm gonna shoot you once. In the leg, and then, and then take you to jail. I'm let you hang out for a while, and then I'm gonna calmly. Get you. What happened? I thought we had to shoot him sixteen times just to be safe. I mean, whenever it's a black guy, I'm told, no, 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 we gotta be safe four times, twelve times, sixteen times. We gotta make sure the son of a bitch is dead. When it's a white guy, oh, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Let him stroll around the park with a gun, and then we'll shoot him once, but make sure he's okay. Now, I, yeah, I didn't want that guy killed. I, I'm glad he's not killed. I'm super relieved that he's not killed. I think there was obviously something wrong with him, right? But when you look at him and you have sympathy towards him, I'm not asking you not to have sympathy towards him. I'm asking you to also have sympathy towards other human beings who happen to be of a different skin color than you. That's why the movement's called Black Lives Matter. That That's guy's right. life mattered to those cops. They didn't want to end his life. They were careful with it. So we're asking you to also be careful with white and black lives just as much. So there's been a couple instances where there's been unarmed black men that's been shot. And this man is out of his car pointing the gun at them. And they're not even attempting to kill him. They, they killed my black ass sitting there with the gun way away from me because I pointed it at him earlier. Okay, so now one last one. Now here you're not gonna be able to see the guy's gun, but he's got a uh, a weapon as well. He gets it's in Michigan. Uh, cops get called in because he's near a school, and you can't have the gun near the school. You can see the camouflage in his arm in some portion. <laughs> now not only are the cops, they don't tackle him. They don't gotta try to arrest him. They don't. They're not concerned that he has a weapon. They're not concerned he has a weapon near the school. They were concerned enough to show up. Uh, but let's see if they eventually take him down and get him. <laughs> he said, take him down and get him. I got a report of somebody walking with a rifle flying over their, their back. Uh, that would be my assumption. Right. So, I mean, in a, in a legal sense, it's, it's just as legal as me walking down the street with my dog. You don't need to have your hand on your gun, man. Oh. Yeah, he's allowed to have a shotgun because you can buy a shotgun at 18 years of age. But you're not allowed to walk down the street with it like you're threatening people. He just told them, he told the police, take your hand off your gun. What's that? It's an arresting area? Sir, it's a resting area? Resting area? Can I rest my hand on my gun? Sir, do what you feel you need to do, sir. Will you shoot me? Do what you need to do. So you got your hand in your gun because it's comfortable. But we both know that if I were to do something similar, you guys would pull your guns on me and maybe even shoot me. I'm advising you guys that you need to take a long, hard look in the mirror. He's sitting there talking to him with a gun. They haven't asked him his ID yet. They haven't asked him what is he doing. Why does he have a gun? They haven't put him down, put him on handcuffs. They handcuffs us when they wake up. The Constitution, you, you take something very similar when you, when you pin that shiny little badge to your chest, do you not? Okay. Does that mean anything to you? It does. It does. Does it? it does. Yes, How about you, sir? It does. How about you? Hey, Mr. Earp, how about you? He asking them questions. He's interviewing them like they finna start a job. Come on, Wyatt, answer my question. You call him Wyatt Earp. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand that you don't have to do what you want to do. Okay, that's okay. Look, they getting in their cars and leaving.
Yeah, that happens to black guys all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where they yeah, laugh at cops in their face and go, see a tough guy? <laughs> walk away. And the cops go, oh, okay, yes, sir. You're right, sir. You have constitutional rights, sir. Of course, I'll walk away. They didn't even ask him his name. He turns around and tells the cops, come on, answer my question. Now, if you're a black man in this country, you told a cop that. What do you think happens? <laughs> Now, every black man in the country knows the answer. And if you're from a different race and you're pretending, oh, no, no, black guys can walk around with weaponry in a place where they shouldn't be and tell the cops, hey, 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 come on, answer my question. And tell the cops to piss off, make fun of them, and the cops will back down, walk away, and, and, and leave, right? That, that happens all the time. No one, no one, I don't care how right wing you are, you don't believe it. You know what they would have done to you know it you know it in every fiber of your being now some will say but jank that guy does have constitutional rights he, he does, does. Yeah, right he does to carry weapons but so did philando castile but that didn't help him him boom you got a couple seconds and you're dead and you're dead we'll can't worry about your constitutional rights do you think you got yeah. constitutional rights you're black the second amendment apparently see with us they feel that if they shoot first and ask questions later there's no consequences which they there really isn't because the law is on their side and not ours when they come to our skin tone police for whites only nra where are you i really thought that they would be savvy enough to make a big deal out of this today they, because it's for them it's a great opportunity to say see we're not racist and, and the Second Amendment isn't for just for white people. And to be fair, the NRA, they even protect terrorists' right to weapons. Mm -hmm. If you're on a terrorist watch list, they're like, no, no, we still have, want you to have weapons. A black guy who's got a legal right to a gun gets shot by a cop that is wildly illegal, wildly unconstitutional, NRA. Still not. Still not. Well, that's the life we're living in this, this day and age where it's still going on to this day. And this was 94 when that first uh, clip came on, I don't, I don't know what to do to say, or because we as black people are hurting ourselves more than the cops are, which if you, we don't care about ourselves, why should they care about us? This has been another episode of Stutter Pot TV. Hit the subscribe button, and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys again. Thank you for joining me.